Strange goings on for Tom Hanks in the Green Mile tonight at 9 on Film 4. Paul O'Grady is 45 minutes away after Deal or No Deal. Doc, four hours in the oven. Okay, the phone book. Indian, Chinese. The phone book from BT. When making the right call matters. Peking Doc! 22 identical sealed boxes, in one of which is that quarter of a million pounds. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Good afternoon, West Wing. You are looking delicious. And good afternoon, East Wing. You too. Wonderful. Thank you, Pilgrims. Welcome to the Dream Factory. Ah, I had somebody say to me yesterday, what's that card? This card here. It's interesting. This is given to me a few hours before we do the show. And on this card is the name of today's player. The most important thing about the contents of this card, however, is the fact that it's filled in by the player. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because we've had two fascinating games this week. We had Chris's game, where on this card, he said about himself that if something could go wrong, it would go wrong for him. And then yesterday, we had the game with Helen, where she rather lamented the fact that she hadn't made the most of every opportunity. So why am I telling you all this? Because Chris could have been our second quarter millionaire if he had had the courage that he mentioned on his card. And then yesterday, oh, Helen could have won £100,000. Yes, the two biggest sums of money had come to the table, but we had players that didn't make the most of the moment. Whoever comes out here, please, please, please! Make the most of the moment. Here they come. Think about it, in just over seven days, we've had just over £700,000 come to the table. Have you got a whopper in your box? Cole. Yeah! Now, for you, the wait is over, Cole. Please join me. Welcome to your game. Please take a seat. Yes. Colin Cole Ryan. Oh, that's me. 24 years old from Liverpool. I am. You work at a leisure complex. I do indeed, yeah. Doing what? It's a football five-a-side centre. So I'll make the assistant manager. We've got like a four-man management team, so just oversee the run of the centre. Mm -hmm. It's very good, yeah. I enjoy it. You're keen on football? Very keen. Very keen. Do you support a football club? <sighs> sort of. I'm an Evertonian. A very oh. proud Evertonian as well. Love mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And your favourite footballer? Uh, Mikel Arteta is my favourite footballer. Why? Because he's just pure class. And he's, the way he holds himself and the way he conducts himself is just brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan. And what sort of people come to your leisure place? It's a mix, to be honest. You know, you get your, your younger kids coming at the weekend to play footy and, you know, they're like, can I have change with the sweets and everything? And then you get the older people as well. But it's a nice mix of people, you know, yeah, so I enjoy it. Good. Why are you here? It's hopefully to win a lot of money now. Um, fingers crossed, the big money there. Have a few quiet nights out in town. Come on, what would you do with it? <laughs> Honest. <laughs> what would you do with it? You wouldn't just no, blow I'd, it on. I'd like to um, open a shop, to be honest. About 10 minutes from the city centre. But um, in between where I live and town, there's nothing at all. So I'd love to open a shop maybe with Chris and James, two of my very good mates. There. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Three of you working in the shop? Yeah, not mind. We're all very ambitious, but we like to work together, like, we get on well. <laughs> so, you know, it's a bit of a dream we've got. Yeah. People are sitting at home like that, oh, I want to be a pilot, want to be an astronaut, and people think I want to sell bread, like that. <laughs> yeah, well and cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, when you say it like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, but it'd be nice, so, big money. And 
You're a gambler. <laughs> you once bet a full month's wages on an Everton game. Near enough, I did, yeah. Family would be proud, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> and they saved you in just about the last minute, the didn't they? 89th minute. Leon Osmond against Portsmouth. Chris <laughs> got a big, big hug when we scored. <laughs> so, you're not frightened to take a gamble? No, certainly not. Good. It's a good profile. He should be worried. Are you happy to crack on? Definitely no. Here Definitely. we go. This is your game. Make the most of it. Thank you. I need you to confirm you chose box number seven at random before the game began. I did it. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where those 22 different sums of money are. Jeff, away it falls, Carl. I hope it's going to be a huge sum of money for Thanks, you. No. And you enjoy yourself. Good luck, Cheers. guys. <laughs> Have a great day. Right, I'll start with box number two first, please, Peter. Good luck, Colin. Right. Perfect start. Yeah, I'd like to continue that if it's okay, guys. Right. Where am I going next? Where am I going next? I will go with Charlie, please. Number five. Who wouldn't? Let's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> make it a lucky blue, eh? Well, what is? A lot of hitting and groaning. Thirty-five thousand. I'm gonna go with my dear Welsh friend, the grass eating Mary, if that's okay. I love you, Colin. <laughs> and I really miss you, and this is another blow for you. Cheers, Mary. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what is? I think I'm gonna go for Chris, 13. 13 doesn't really mean nothing to me, so. Yeah, I'll go with Chris, please. Good luck, Colin. Thanks, Mary. Good man. It will from now on. It's a blow. 13 will mean a lot to you from now on. 100,000. Hunt for that 10p, Carl. Yeah, that'd be nice, that chap. I wouldn't mind that. I'm gonna go with Ron, 17, please. Give us a Pompey Blue, Ron. Give me a Pompey Blue. Really? Yeah. Charlie says find the 10p, and you did. Yeah. Wow, he's fast. Yes, yeah. Hello, banker. Oh, I don't like it when you ring that quickly. You are revved up. Oh, uh, do you know what's upsetting him? He is only £50,000 away from a very uncomfortable milestone. Since we started playing this game, he has almost given away £10 million. riff-raff like Colin. <laughs> oh! He said he would never normally meet somebody like you unless he came home unexpectedly early and you were burgling him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop a quarter of a mill in a minute. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Oh, Col. That was all that little jousting that he likes. Yeah but he respects you. Your offer, despite that damage, is £10,000. <laughs> really, it's one of the best opening offers you could hope for, especially considering I took the big one out at the bottom. Mm. No, it is. It's a very good offer, but I am ready. OK. £10,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you, but no deal. Thank you, Cole. <laughs> Right, I think I'm going to go with Helen, please. Right. Big blue Helen, please. Carl, I just want to say you are amazing. Thanks, and Helen. a beautiful Pisces as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's a little blue. Thanks. All right, what are you I think I'll go with 21, please. Nick. 
Nicole, you're an absolute diamond geezer. Hope it's a blue. Thanks a lot, Nick. Cheers. 3,000. The blue. <laughs> Take your time. What do you think of it so far, James? Chris? Good we... start. I think it's a good start, yeah. Up what, to do you, now. what do you think the banker was doing with the uh, the insults and uh, alleging that the guy's a burglar? It's hard us all with the same brush, isn't he? But you know, he's a good lad. We'll be all right. We'll be good. Yeah, yeah we'll be good. Guys, come here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he insulted your mate. You go out through that door, yeah. follow the corridor yeah. along to the right. No problem. You come outside, yeah. cross the courtyard, yeah. that's the banker's Off office. Go and kick five bells out. Okay. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> come back after the break, I think we'll have a different banker. Will there be any nightmares in the Dream Factory next week? Don't miss it. Welcome back to Cole's Game. The boys have been to see the banker, so we should fi find <laughs> a little this. more compliance. <laughs> I had a dream last night. I had box eight in my dream. Get on this. I had £250, but it was the actual blue. So I don't know. It's a bit weird, that, though. A quarter of a mil, £250. But I'm going to leave it anyway, but I just thought to lay it out. <laughs> I was in the middle of a street opening the box. Really? But I never normally have flight vivid dreams, but... Paul, your dreams always mean the opposite. Love you, Nicky. My dreams don't always mean the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go with box 14, Tony, please. Tony! Complete the round, please, Tony. And you know how you have to complete it? Have a blue. Yes. Thank you. All the best. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. 50p would be very nice, Anthony. Yes! Thanks, Tony. Help me with this again. You had a dream about that box. I had a dream about eight. Have you? Eight had that in. 250 blue. Ooh, anything else happened in your dream? Ooh. Quarter mil was offered to me. Yeah? Because he just said you can have it. <laughs> in this call. In this call? In this, this call, yeah. This call. I was standing right here, like that. You were offered a quarter of a million. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our dream. Oh, he's agreeing with you, Nicky. Luckily for him, dreams always do mean the opposite. Oh, yes, he says he's had an interesting break with your friends coming and paying a visit. Lovely. <laughs> Good, you're now seeing things a little more clearly, are you? Drilling into your character. Oh, wow. He is really drilling into the things you say. He's magnifying every single comment and he's analysing you. And he latched on to the fact that when you talked about your favourite footballer, you didn't refer to how he plays, you actually talked about the way he conducts himself. Which again, he thought was a very interesting insight into your character. He is now offering you, for that box there, with the utmost respect, £17,500. <laughs> well done, Cole. Very, very well done. I'm so respectful of that. It's unbelievable, honestly. I'd to, at this point, with, with a board that some would look at and say maybe is a bit precarious, I think that's a fantastic offer. I really do. But, I, you know, I want to play the game, so... I am ready for the question. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Again, thank you very, very much, but no deal. Yeah. Do you fancy any numbers, boys, or...? I've always hated 16, I don't know why, like. No offence, <laughs> yeah. no offence, you know what I mean, yeah. but just not a number. Like. We love you, Steph, but 16, <laughs> going. Yeah, we'll go with that. Quarter million dead. Oh. <laughs> 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 love you. 
Yeah, I'll go with 16. Uh, Steph, please, no. OK, so who's selected this? Uh, Chris has selected for me. Carl, you're an absolute legend. I'm really going to miss Thanks, you. Thanks, Steph. Cheers. Yes! Get in, CJ! Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Steph. Great start to the Pressure's round. on you now, yeah. son. <laughs> <laughs> I like most of the numbers I've got, got left now. You like them? Yeah. For one reason or another, they're just nice numbers. I'll go with good friend Ben, please. No. Number six. All right, Ben. Good Thanks, luck, all right. Cheers, Ben. Yeah! yeah! If you find the fiver, it's the perfect round. Yes. Come on. You've had the 50p. You've had its neighbour. And now you want the one next door. <sighs> Come on. I think an 18. I'm not sure. Ooh, it's a big one, this, isn't it? Sense. I'm not nervous, honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for 18, actually. You are? Go OK, Simon, so, yeah. we are coming you, yeah. Big hit. A bit of a blow, but it's all right, because they're two big numbers there, and it's a nice little back-up as well. So, all good. I'm happy with that. Are you very happy? Happier than you were? Mm. He said, with that configuration, 50,000 going suddenly does change the complexity thinks that everybody in the room senses that it just does make it look that little bit more unsettled and maybe slightly more in his favour. It's made it look precarious again, but I like the way I've got the two big ones and then a nice little back up. Mm -hmm. So, and we, I've got two of my power five and the, the bank has only got one of his, so. Well, he thinks you're a brave player. He actually did add the word before brave, determined. Yes. This he is claiming. Yeah. He's very, very similar to Brunhilde's game at this point. Yeah. And then, of course, he's making the point that she should have taken the £20,000 he's now offering you. <laughs> He's clever, you know, and whatever you think of him, he is clever. He always just pitches it right on it, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Very good. Bruni oh. undoubtedly should have gone away with the 20,000. <sighs> undoubtedly. She went away with 2,000 in the end. Yeah. Whew. That's that for the general consensus, anyway. Just want to see what people are thinking. Mm -hmm. See you, Jimbo. Good offer, but Class, there's two numbers on there that'll change your life forever. Yeah. I'm the opposite, like, <laughs> I'd say, because well, yeah. I know what that could do for you, 20 grand, yeah, like yeah. you said, yeah, wipe a yeah. few things out and that, and yeah. get a good start in life again, you know what I mean, so, but, yeah. just go with yourself, mate, honestly. Any opinions, guys, or feelings, or...? No two games yeah. are ever the yeah. same, so, Bruni's game, totally different game, totally different setup. you've got two <clears> in the yeah. power five, and like you say, they're both those backups are wicked, 20 grand, 15 grand, you'd be happy to walk away with those as well. Yeah. Ready now. Twenty thousand pounds, Carl. Deal or no deal? Again, absolutely brilliant offer. Amazing money, but no deal. Yeah! Now we really could be onto something here if we can marry this spirit with the right boxes in this round, Carl. You are going to get a massive offer. Right, I'm going to go with me neighbour, first of all. Tink, please. Tink. Fingers crossed for you. Yeah! Thanks a lot. Thanks. If 
you can do 5,000 downwards now, Cole, you're moving into the life-changing territory. You really are. I'm going to go next, please, with the daddy of the group. I bet. 22, please. I bet. I bet. This is a big box for Carl. Show us its contents, please. I bet you've got it as well. Two days ago, we had a young man similar age, okay. a young man who didn't particularly come with a set financial target, came from the northwest of England, and he could have had the quarter of a million, but he didn't have that final bit of bravery. Yeah. And I think you've got it. Yes. He is going to be our next quarter millionaire. Come back yes. after the break. Yes. <laughs> Don't miss an incredible week of Halloween shows starting on Monday. I knew you'd come back. This is fabulous. Great atmosphere here in the Dream Factory. And we have a belief that Cole is going to do it and get the big one. Gonna go with number nine, Little Rich, please. Rich, you've been a legend, mate. Honestly. I'm Great just, I can feel myself shrinking with the pressure of this one now. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> don't Come you worry, on up. Mate. Don't you worry. Fifteen, you're okay. You're okay. Well, that's yeah. 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 Right. That's Come on. It's all right. It's quarter mil, like that. Cheers, oh, Rich. No, no. That, Cheers, was, Rich. that produced a very strange <laughs> reaction here, but actually at eight box. As long as they're there. I Look at that. Great shame you couldn't have encouraged Chris to have this attitude. Imagine if the guy had lost half a million pounds within three games. Oh, yeah, and if we'd had the 100,000... Oh, this could have been... Oh, he could have died. The shock could have got to... Good love. Hello. What's in your favour? He's a regular gambler. Yeah, yeah. I'll pass it. I'll pass it all on. But yeah, I'll, I'll pass all this on. But I need a bit of money on the end to tell him. <laughs> Latching on, obviously, to the fact that you like uh, a gamble, frequently like a gamble, and using his terminology, he says within every serious gambler, there is the knowledge that the house always wins. Which is why I suggest that Col takes my offer of thirty thousand. Oh my God! What an offer! How many night shows is that? Oh my God! My offers have been brilliant. I'm so pleased with them. Um, I just got a bit of opinion. I just want to gauge what everyone's thinking. 30,000 is the offer. Tink, advice. I'm 50 50 completely, but I'd consider dealing. Simon? I think the banker's verbal chicanery is becoming more and more irrelevant as your board gets better. I would no deal. Good bard still. You've still got a quarter of a million. Do you want to go for it? It's four all at the minute, so it depends how confident you're feeling. I think the sensible thing would be to deal. But you know what? You're only here once. No deal. Thanks, everyone. Um, that's you two. <laughs> you two fair. <laughs> Scoundrels. You'd be happy with 20 grand, still, wouldn't you? Probably. Oh, yeah. So you've got three there you'd be happy with? Yeah. Cheers. I've gone full circle now, mate. So I want you to carry on. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> serious, though. I, I know you like. I know you. You like a gambling that. Yeah, yeah. You still got. You take twenty, wouldn't you? What I mean. Yeah. You take twenty. Yeah, but yeah, I don't want to see you walk away with nothing. So it's me, mate. So, but everybody believes. The banker believes that you're frightening. I think you've carried the whole room. 
It's not Halloween, yeah, that's what he's gonna say. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, hello again. Oh, here we go, Cole. Brace yourself. You're on. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Don't listen. Hello. Right. Of course. Of course. We all make them. Yeah. I was thinking that, to be honest. Yeah. Of course I will. <sighs> Interesting. What do you say? It's just going on about life experiences mm -hmm. he's had and generally, just that, generally. Just, he was just chewing the fat, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll level with you though, no, this has given me a problem. 30,000 in my life is massive money. I'm ready for the question. Thirty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. What did he say? The banker said, amongst other things, that um, he now he was gonna offer stick at twenty, and he feels he's made an awful mistake and offered me thirty. He phoned back, yeah, to tell you it had been his intention to offer you twenty thousand for a Again. second time, yeah, and that he recognised that he had made a mistake in offering you thirty thousand. That's right. Well, it's going to be interesting, Colt. You might well have done something very wise indeed. On the other hand, you might be the latest victim of the banker's psychological games. True, true. Has he actually saved himself a massive amount of money by taking out your bravery gland? Yeah. What I would have left, no. Three and ten would have, I would have left. Three and, and ten you would have left? Uh, given what's happened to me, 19 just shouting at me and eight being in my dream sort of last night, I would have left them. So the next three will be 21 and four. So I'm going to go. In that would, order? Uh, I'd imagine so, yeah, that's where I'd go. OK, with. well, he's so being very have... honest. This is the way we would have played on. Now, has he just joined Chris in squandering the chance to be a quarter millionaire? Judy, will you open box 20, please? We know what we want to see. Good luck. Thanks, Judy. No, it was a great start if you had said, I'm a gambler. Next one. Mario. Mario, one. it's you in box number one. We want to see a quarter of a million pounds. Thank you. Let's hope it's a big one. Thanks, Mario. It has to be the big one. <laughs> Disaster. This guy has possibly thrown away the big opportunity. His mates said that money will change his life forever. Have you blown it? You must find the quarter of a million in this box. Number four, Tina. Number four. If this is a blue or it's 5,000, this is a total disaster for Cole. Tina, reveal a quarter of a million pounds and get him off the hook. Why didn't I go four, oh, 21? Yeah. Well, you've turned, you've turned the heat down, but the heat is still there. Yeah. If box seven has got 75,000, you've still made a big mistake. Hello. True. Yeah. Oh, he's being very honest here. I think he's had a moment of shock. He said he only rang you up to say that he'd made a mistake, to try and give you the impression that the offer was bigger than it was. 
So it was a con. And the irony for him is he really did make a mistake. The offer at this point would have been, you're going to love this, 15,000. <laughs> half, half of your deal. At this point, the value of your box would have been slashed in half. Now you've got to find the 75,000. Prove it's not there. At this point, I'm thinking, I would have gone with the dreamy type box from last night. So I would have went with eight. Eight? With Michael, yeah. Okay, Michael, we want to see 75,000. And now, at last, we've got a victory. Well done, Cole. It's just the scale of the victory. Can you bring it down to an all-blue finale? 19. AJ. AJ, yes, yes. away you go. Boss, mate. Do Boss it for him. Quality. Come on, do it for him. <laughs> yes. Yes, that'll do. Find the 20,000. This will be so sweet. This will be a super banker spanker. If you can get this, <laughs> if you can get this down to an all blue finish, it will be fantastic. I would have gone with 10. Okay, it's down to you, Anne. It's not all over if this doesn't turn out to be 20,000, but it would be so sweet if it was. Go on. Ooh. Fiver, okay. Cool. <laughs> well. Oof. OK, we're at £750 or £20,000. You've already forked out thirty grand for this box. What would you have been offering now? You made a second mistake. I've never heard this before. It's so rare for you to say you've made an error at all, but twice? Oh, come now, I cannot believe it, banker. Ah, yes, you did say the house always wins. Oh, very good. He says, in this case, it's not the house always wins, the scouse always wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's written on the box at this point. He would have given you £7,000 for box number seven, and you have dealt at 30000 It's looking good, Carl. Oh, God. Looking good. Well, you've got a victory. You've got a great victory. <sighs> it's just a question of now seeing how big is it the big one? It's the big one. Fantastic. It's been really good. Maria, it's over there with you. Will you please open box number three and complete this fabulous game? Here it is. You said it's going to change your life. It certainly will. Definitely. Definitely. It's massive money and me and the boys can look to uh, work for ourselves, to be fair, hopefully. Well, yeah. Well, gentlemen, it. whatever you decide to do jointly and whatever you decide to do with 30,000, I wish you all possible success. Thanks. You played the perfect game. Cole, Brilliant. gonna miss Cheers, you. Noel. Well you done. 30,000! 30,000 pounds! We needed that. Great atmosphere here now. We really, really needed that. And for me, do you know what is the most important thing as we look to tomorrow's player? For the banker to say made a mistake once, that's pretty rare. For him to actually concede that he made a mistake twice in one game, that's good news. He's unsettled. We'll have a cracker tomorrow. Make sure you're here. See you. phone book from BT. When making the right call,